All right, I've got my Prusa XL single head. It's quite an amazing tool, but it is a lot louder than what I am used to. I'm printing a test cube here, the 0.4 millimeter draft. One of the things I noticed is this cover here in the back is rattling a lot. So I've been experimenting with taking it off and using rubber bands. See if I put my hand on it and I can calm it down. Uh, I got a couple other things I'm going to do. I'm going to put a blanket underneath it, and I've got sound mats I'm going to put on the sides. Right now, I've been reading uh, around 220 hertz is the main rattle, and it's at minus 30 dB uh, is the peak that I found. So I'm going to shut this down, do a couple of mods, and see what I can do to clean this noise up. All right, I'm about. Halfway through my project, I've pulled the outer covers off, which I think they help because structurally, because these things are kind of cantilevered, so I probably shouldn't leave them off permanently, but you can definitely print without them if you want to. Um, the rubber band on the cover seems to have quieted some of this stuff down. I'm probably just going to pull this cover off permanently. Um, but it's a lot quieter. It's about 5 dB down, which is a 60% noise reduction. Uh, 60, 70, something like that. Uh, still got some rattles over here. Some of the things I've done, this is sound mat. Um, so audio guys use it in their cars. So I put it on these three inside surfaces and it's really quieted these plates down. A lot of this stuff isn't rattling as much as it used to. You can still feel some vibration, but it's not like a big speaker. And then underneath, uh, I cut up uh, some Harbor Freight matting, or the moving blankets, <clears throat> and stuffed it under there so that it would uh, dampen out the underneath. Uh, this is some of the sound matting stuff. Here's the sidebars. So This is good. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to think I'm going to pull the cover off, and then probably put some sound matting on the inside of these arms here to uh, to quiet them down and put them back on so that yeah that rocks enough you probably want those on permanently but it's already a huge improvement let's get rid of a couple little rattles and this thing will be in a lot better shape probably never as quiet as a perfectly tuned mark IV, but whatever it's big all right so I think I'm about done I put the side covers back on and I put the sound matting 90 mil sound matting in the <clears throat> in the side wings here it's oh, maybe I am rubbing in a few spots well definitely don't go any thinner than 90 mil this is uh, probably voiding some sort of warranty but it still seems to be moving hopefully it'll push it all out of the way you're supposed to roll the stuff down good anyways I took the back cover off the extruder here and I put this rubber band on. This has helped a lot. Um, this was the most annoying sound and it's still the worst. And there's something rattling in here. I almost wonder if I need to get in here and fill this with some hot glue or RTV or something to just settle some of this out. But <clears throat> considering what it was before where I'm in my office now but when I was in my living room it was annoying. Like I had to close the door this is a million times better. The uh, matting under here, I think, is helping to, to keep this bottom plate from rattling so bad. This matting uh, helps. The blankets, I mean, the uh, moving blankets stuffed under here. Uh, so, I wouldn't call this mission accomplished, but definitely phase one has been really, really helpful. Uh, see, there's still something up here that's rattling. I may have to take this guy apart and try filling it up a little bit with some, like I said, RTV or epoxy or hot glue, something, something to quiet it down, but so much better than it used to be. Got a few steps to go. Hopefully somebody else can figure out the last pieces of the puzzle. If I take the head apart and figure out what's rattling so bad, I'll update and post another video. Good luck out there. Keep printing.